So, on the way over here to make these wonderful films we were going to prepare for you, we ran into a few issues, so we're here to just blog about our lives for a couple minutes. So, the way this went down is that I just kind of instant messaged this guy on Facebook saying that we should hang out kind of as a joke, and then it turned out to be this, us talking at 8 o'clock yeah. on a school day. We shouldn't really be here right now. Yeah, those Mexicans were out to get us. Really. I mean, Maybe um, we should have told them what happened first. Yeah, let's go for that one. Would you like to start us off? Well, considering that the beginning of the story started with you, maybe you should start first. Oh, okay. Well, oh, it all started out when Drew was like, Hey, bro, what's up? And I'm like, hey. And he's like, okay, I'm, I want to hang out. I'm like, yeah, okay. And he's like, oh, I was just kidding. And I was like, oh, I wasn't. Why aren't you on my doorstep? And he was like, are you serious right now? I'm like, yeah, I'm dead serious right now. I don't play around. I say things that I mean it, okay? I'm not the type to just say things and talk. I get things done. He's dead serious. This is why I am dead serious. This I am one. British. I will piss on everything that pisses me off. Vote okay? for him and vote for me. Or I'll 2013. Piss on you. Fuck Obama. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Anyway, so skipping a few vulgar statements. As I was starting to walk over, because I was going to meet him halfway, and we were going to walk back to my house, because obviously my house is better to record at, because... I mean, look at it. I mean, we got a garage studio, and yeah, this house I'm, looks like a I haunted just, house. I just have everything here. It's fucking awesome. Okay. And as this is happening, one of those, like, lower-end versions of Rapist Vans by Ford is not Ford. I think it's like GMC or something. They're shorter Rapist Vans. Mexicans usually drive them all brown, kind of rusty. Yeah, they're usually ugly colors, so I wouldn't recommend buying one off the market. On with the story. Well, as this was happening, this this ugly lower end of a rapist van car starts, yeah, it's going the speed limit at first. It's got its headlights on, doing everything okay, but right as the headlights like touch my my shoes like it was like just creeping up on me and yeah it just started speeding up I'm sure it wasn't the speed limit dead serious yeah it just starts moving really fast no and joke. I got scared and I don't know I turned around and I looked at that car and it got to my street and it like peeled around like Super duper fast. It was like Grand Theft Auto U-turn status. I don't even know. When a man uses super duper in their statement, they're dead serious. Yes. Keep yes. That Especially in mind. me. Don't make fun of me for it, because I will kill you. And then I'll piss on your grave. Okay, as and then at that moment, I was thinking to myself, I'm either gonna run really fast towards Drew to save him and his pathetic life or I am gonna get my ass as fast as I can back to my house where it's safe. Well obviously I went back to my house because this isn't a horror movie it's it's life. I cared about myself more than Drew personally and I'm not ashamed to admit that to every single one of you. I'm not afraid to admit that to every single one of you in front of him. And he's okay with that because he knows me. I'm a prick. Get over it. It's gonna happen eventually. We all have our moments. I just have me on a permanent dot, if you know what I mean. Tom's a bitch. Yeah. So. <sighs> and yeah, that's basically the story. So I was. I, I actually, as I went to get into my house, I locked the door, I ran upstairs, and believe it or not, I do have some feelings, you know, on some level. And I actually started to sort of worry about Drew, and I started pacing back and forth, thinking to myself, what if those stupid Mexicans jacked my friend? What if? Well. Well, the second I saw him, 
at the bottom of my house, like from my second story window, I was, I just like stuck my face into that window and I looked right at him for like 10 minutes and he looked up at me and it was like love at first sight, you know what I mean? It was lovey gushy moment. And so I ran down those stairs. I just leaped to the ground and I made it around that corner, ran through my living room and I swung open that door, and there was Drew playing with my Halloween decorations. Kinda mad about that. But I was so happy to see him alive and not kidnapped by those stupid Mexicans that I just embraced him with fully open arms, and I just grasped him around. And I just began to sway him back and forth. Savor the moment. Savor the moment so much. I think I got a hard on, man. Just thinking about it. I got a chubby, too. I know how you feel. Yeah, so, well, the second half of this story is for me, and I was walking somewhere between the road where you go down to this guy's house and the straight road where you normally exit to go out fucking, uh, SES if you wanted to go there, or SMS. Yeah, for people who don't know what that is, that is Salida Elementary School. And Salida Middle School. Yeah, that's that, that, that doesn't need to be mentioned ever again in our lives, though, so... Yeah, it's a terrible school. It was a horrible school. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, so I'm walking down there, and I see this guy starting to run and... Just running randomly, shouting Mexican slur words I, I don't really know. I know one of them was a Reba, but like Andale or something, and then out of there I see like a car coming out of like a corner of a chase scene. Like it was about to flip itself and it was that van. That James just... Bond. Yeah. Bad totally. ass. So this van twists by and he's still running, yelling Mexican stuff. I, as I said before, I don't know Spanish. And so this guy randomly just stops, yells at the driver, then like judo jumps into the van like some crazy spider monkey and I and thought then, only black people could do it. Yeah, and then the Mexican did it. But, apparently we were wrong. Everything we know is a lie. Apparently Mexicans can jump. Sometimes even higher than black people. Damn. Dang. That's all I gotta say for you. Well... That's what happened on the way over here, so... Yeah. That's... That's what we wanted to tell you. Hello, world. And after this, we're probably going to make some popcorn, drink some coffee, Love maybe talk shit about each other, and... Laugh about it. And laugh about it after. Maybe even... I don't know. Jesus. I think that's a cue for something. I think we might have to go now. Well.